Hello and welcome to Cousins vs. Cousins. Today we are doing our first true Cousins vs. Cousins with archery. It will consist of three rounds of three arrows each. Welcome back. It's a sunny day here at Archery Stadium. Today we have announcers Martin Yu and Caleb McKenzie and contestants Martin and Caleb again. We are broadcasting, those are the points. The most person have three rounds and three arrows will win, which means nine arrows and and we're gonna take in turns. We are shooting for about 30 feet back. Caleb on arrow number one, he's getting ready. You better zoom up on the target. And he's about to shoot. Oh, that's a not, that's an eight. Nice job. Caleb's so Garrett. The special thing about these arrows is that you have to tighten this a lot. Otherwise they do bad. Okay, he's going for arrow number two. Okay, that's a five or a six. And make sure you know how to shoot an arrow if you want to do this. For parents' permission. Make sure you have a bow. That works and you Oh that's a nine. Those are his three arrows. Okay. Now Martin's turn. So after Caleb's first round, he got a five. So this is a lesson how to pull arrows out. Make a L with you. Make it in the corner and pull it out. Five. <clears throat> and then he got an eight right here. A nice good eight. And a nine. And make sure when you're walking, you're always holding, holding that these tips, so you don't trip and hurt yourself. After Caleb's first round, he has 22 points. Okay, let's go to Martin. So everyone, welcome back. Martin is his first time ever shooting this buff. but I have shot it. Ooh, <coughs> that was close. <laughs> He's still good in the hang of it. He had a couple of practice shots. Oh, by the way, make sure the arrows, are, the fletchings are pointed that way. A nice one. And his last one, I think that is a... Uh... Oh, that's an eight. And his last one. So these arrows are a little bit different that you need to tighten them, as I already stated. Otherwise, they go all squampus. I've lost lots of arrows that way. Okay. Here he goes. His last shot of the first round. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and a nice one. I believe that's a miss, but a nine and a uh, six. We'll check those scores. Let's see you back. So we finalized the scores. He got a uh, eight and a six and a miss. That is 14 points, but as he said so, he's getting the hang of it. Hope to see you back. For the first round, the finals is 22 for Caleb and 16. 14 for Martin, sorry. Okay, Caleb turns next again for a second round. The second round is here, 6, 14 to 22. Caleb, he's getting ready. Yep. Whoa, that's a 10. Okay, let's use our super cam to go in. That's on the line, which gets the better point. That's a 10. Good job. No. Not so great, that one. Yeah, not so great. I'll That's like a, a 10 any day. <laughs> For his last shot. Okay, let's go see closer and see what he got. So you see here, he got a four, a six, and a 
and a 10, which equals up to 20. So total for Caleb is 44. For the second round, halftime is up. We'll be back after this quick commercial break, sponsored by the cabbage. I got torn. The cabbage, one of the most endangered species of all time. By our arrows. It's been torn apart just by sitting here for over six months. Look at that. Holes. Whoever's doing this, we should stop it. Contact your local government uh, official and tell them. Stop shooting bow and arrows into cabbages. Welcome back to Martin's second round of shooting. I think that's got the target good. Here we go. A nice three-er. So, not amazing, but better than the mess he started out with last time. Ooh, this is not going to help us. Actually, it will help us go over, not that great. That's a two or a one. We'll have scoring. Check that out. We're shooting with a Bartex compound bow. Uh, four. So not the best, but he still hit every time, which is great. Let's see what those final scores are. Okay, so here is scoring, checking out the final. One thing I have to say I love is I like doing numbers. That's why I got a two, a three, and a four. I skip one, because one's not that good. I should have gotten a nine, eight, a nine, and a ten. Well, let's go to the school bar. So after the second round, Martin has 23, and Caleb has 42. Okay, let's see Caleb for his last, f third, and final three arrows. Welcome back, guys. Caleb is on his third and final round of shooting. Let's see what he gets. So he has loaded his arrows. This oh, that's a two. Not very good for him. Phil Martin's pain. But as he said, he seems like he likes getting two threes and fours. That's not good either. Let's zoom up on that and try to see what that is. That looks like, it's hard to see with the shade. I don't know, maybe three. Oh, and a two. Okay, not that good. Let's go look at it close. Okay, we are looking at the final scores. I have one thing to say. Looks like Caleb liked number two. And he likes ones, too. And doesn't like four that much because he got a one, a two, and a three. So that's a great score for Caleb. A great, great, great score. Okay. Especially for Martin. Yeah, okay, let's go to Martin's. Okay, so here we are. Caleb got six, but his final is 48. Martin, on the other hand, is right now at 23. If he gets all 30, or even just 27, I'm pretty sure, he will win. Let's find out. Okay, so here we are back with Martin's first shot. Whoa! He hits the stump, which sadly isn't, but the crowd spectators just let out a roar. I was really entertained. Uh, 
And that looks like it is uh, A. And his final shot is now loaded. <laughs> Put it on a clown act, Miss Martin is. <laughs> and his last shot is there, and it is a four or a three. It's dead on, so I can't tell. Maybe it's a five. Wait, that's that's a six. Okay, so. Let's go check it out. Here we go. So he finished. He had the one that hit the stump. It's right there. And then he had a six and a eight. So a total of 14. So beat my last score, but I don't think he will win. Let's find out. So it's over. Martin had 14 his last shot. And I had 48 points total, and he had 33. But before we go, we're going to have a final competition. A victory shot for Caleb McKenzie from the lamppost. And if he makes it, he will get a bonus of 10, which will be good on his record for archery part 2. And before we go to the trick shot, please remember to remember the cabbage. And feel very sad right now. The lamppost. All the way to the target. Okay. Good luck, Caleb. Okay, here we are. See if he can make it. Let's zoom out so if he missed, we can see where he goes. Oh! Okay. Let's give him a second chance. Okay, let's go. Second chance. Here we go. Aim up, get that up, 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 get down, get dirty. He oh, hit it! Oh. One! Oh, wow, what, that might be a two, let's go see. We we're trying to shoot from there to there, but did he do it? Up next. He got two shots, his first one's this, which was that far away from the target. And then his second shot was pretty good. It's only worth five points for my record, though. Because it's our second shot. And that is, if it hits the line, it, it's a, the better. And it's hitting the line, so that's a two from the lamppost. Yeah, you try to make a lamppost shot. Remember the cabbage? Please subscribe, like, and comment on the video it, who was, do you think was better, even though we, the result. Because I think I was pretty good, too. Okay, thanks. Also note that it was Martin's first time ever shooting this beautiful bow. So, if it was different bows, he probably could have won. Okay. Stay tuned, to, stay tuned to part two archery.